Hi everyone! Here's your tutorial on how to use your DigiFirst Fitness End of Timer with Pacer. This video will focus on how to set up the device, what the device can do, and how to operate the device. If you have any questions regarding any features not covered in this video, please refer to the instruction manual or email us at support at digifirst.com. Now, let's get started. This device features two different modes, the interval timer mode and the interval pacer mode. For the interval timer mode, you can set one interval for workout and another interval for rest. The device will switch between two different intervals for the number of runs you set. As for the interval pacer mode, it's actually similar to the interval timer mode where it switches between two different intervals. However, Instead of using a countdown timer for the first interval, this mode allows you to set a pacer for your workout. The pacer will make this beep sound at a certain pace so you can control how fast and how many times you want to repeat the movement during your workout session. Now let's go over how to change mode on this device. First, when you start the device, you will see a stop sign flashing on the right. This means the device is on standby. Many features can only work when the device is on standby. If you at any moment want to come back to this standby status, you need to reset your device to its original setting, which we'll talk about a little more later. Now, when your device is on standby, press A button. When you see the letters PC showing next to the stop sign, it means you're in the interval pacer mode. Now you can press A again. The PC should disappear. When you don't see anything next to the stop sign, it means you are in the interval timer mode. Next, we'll talk about how to set up the interval timer and the interval pacer. Let's start with the interval timer. Before we start, make sure your device is on standby. You should see the stop sign flashing on the right. Now. Press and hold B button for 3 seconds, and you will see the number flashing on the upper left corner. That means you are in the setup mode. Once you enter the setup mode, you will be able to set the workout runs, the first interval, and the second interval in sequence. Keep in mind, the device will actually exit the setup mode once it detects 8 seconds of inactivity. If you don't press anything in 8 seconds, the number will stop flashing and you will have to press and hold B button 3 seconds to enter the setup mode again. When still unfamiliar with the device, you might get kicked out of the setup mode a few times as you try to learn how to use the device. Don't give up. You will eventually get a hand of it and your persistence will pay off. Let's continue to set up our device. When the number on the upper left corner is still flashing, you can press D or E to adjust the number for workout runs. In the setup mode, button D and E are always for adjusting numbers. When you're done, press B and you will be able to set the seconds for the first interval. After that, press B again to set the minutes for the first interval. And then press B again to set the seconds for the second interval. And then B again to set the minutes for the second interval. When you're done, press B again to finish the setup process. And now the device will be back on standby again. Next, we'll talk about how to set up an interval pacer. First, Change your mode to interval pacer mode. Similar to interval timer mode, when the device is on standby, press and hold B button for 3 seconds to enter the setup mode. Once the number on the upper left corner starts to flash, you will be able to set the workout runs, pacer frequency, the first interval, which is the pacer, and the second interval in sequence. When the number on the upper left corner is still flashing, you again can press D or E to adjust the number for workout rounds. When you're done, press B and you will be able to set the pacer frequency for your workout. 
If you don't know what frequency is the best for your workout, you can start with 60 beats per minute first and then come back to adjust it later. After that, press B again to set the last two digits of your pacer count. Then, press B again to set the first two digits of your pacer count. Press B again to set seconds for the second interval. And then you can press it again to set minutes for the second interval. When you're done, press B again to finish the setup process, and now the device will be back on standby again. You've finished the hardest part. Let's move on to use our interval timer. So here's how to run your interval timer or pacer. When the device is on standby, press E button to start the timer or the pacer. When it is running, press E anytime to pause the timer or the pacer. After the device is paused, you can either press E to resume it, or you can press D to reset the device to its original setting. Once the device is reset, you will be on standby again. 